Okay, start of the week. We're gonna give you one on Monday today. The reason being, it was crazy town today. The amount of growth that we had from yesterday to today was insane. I terminated this morning two side vines there and one over here. And then tonight, I terminated another side vine there and one more right there and another one right there that's gonna need to be terminated tomorrow. I don't know how much growth was in this place. I terminated one side vine on that plant yesterday or this morning. We're gonna need to terminate another one over there. And I terminated two this morning on this side, or no, one this morning on this side. And then I redirected the plant to go the other direction. So unbelievable amounts of growth. The pumpkin plants are filling in extremely fast. And we have our backup on the Marenzer. I mean, this, the shape is about identical, round but it's opening up tomorrow morning. So we'll be planting its back up tomorrow. Pretty exciting. The Marenzer, this one is growing. It'll fit faster than the other one. So there it is. What is it, day seven today? Tomorrow will be day eight. So still small for mine, for normal, which normal being a couple of years ago, last year I had small ones they ended up extremely heavy. So hoping for more of the same, but there it is. Leaves everywhere. I gave some ratings last year on my plants. I'm gonna have to give these a very high A. We're not gonna go with an A plus because there's some leaf burn from nutrients or some mistakes that I might've made. Maybe some sun damage. I don't know exactly what it is, but not A plus, but. I'd say so there's your start of the week we'll see if we have massive growth like that that I just have to do another video but wow it's amazing what Sun does she kicks her in gear fast all right pumpkin people time for the middle of the week update and you can see nothing but green back there baby the plants are looking great. We got almost all the side vines before the pumpkin are terminated. We got a few side vines. Oops, sorry, right here. They need to get terminated eee, that way. Whatever. You see them. So, this is the 1990 Marenzer we're standing by. She's a beaut. And now, let's go give her a little look see. Well, just like the Gettys. We're a bit slow. Tomorrow we turn 10. Got a little dirt on her. Right there. I think she's growing. I don't know. We'll measure it tonight, today. And then I'll measure it again tomorrow to make sure on day 10 she's still growing. She seems fine, but it's definitely slow. If that doesn't work, we got our back up here. We got one, another back up in the tip that's gonna come. And then we got another backup right here that looks like it's doing good. It's only two or three days old, so that one looks good. So there's the 1990 Marenzer. We'll see. I'll measure that one tonight, and then we'll keep measuring it. It's it's small, but growing. So I'm not going to get worried. If it isn't growing well, then we're going to cut that one off, and we'll have to move our blue mat around. So you did put over here. Kind of a little bit of a trick, but that's what you got to do sometimes. So we're going to keep an eye on that one. Now let's go check out the Gettys. All right, and here's the sea of green with the Gettys. Another really good plant. We got side vine coming. I directed over here to get behind the pumpkin. So it gets plenty of, plenty of leaves here. I think the leaves are so big, I'll probably have to maybe take some of these leaves, cut them off as the pumpkin grows. I don't like it to rub against it so we'll see we'll see what happens there and uh this one here we're on day like 14 or 15 one of the two i'd have to look i think 14 but i'm not sure and as you can see looking great she's definitely starting to take off right now so she's kicking it into gear 
yeah, it's not as big as I'd like it, but I don't want a big old air bubble. I want big heavy, so I'm not worried one bit that it's a little slow at the beginning. Take her time, get big later, that's the plan. But yeah, you can see she looks great. So there's your little midweek update. Keep her growing. Okay, and here's the end of the week look at the Gettys plant and pumpkin. Looking great. Vines curling around. It's 30 plus feet right now. So, no longer will I keep any side vines. I'll just let it grow back there. You can see, like I said, the weeds. I pull them as they get growing. Nothing to worry about. They all end up looking like this where there's hardly anything. So, I don't mind it doing it this way. Anyways, the Gettys plant pumpkin right here looking great. And as you can see the difference between the two, this one is much shinier than the other one. Looks a lot better. It's got a good shape to it. It's just an all around nice looking pumpkin. The other one we called it our backup that we're going with. Well, is that a bad, it kind of sounds like a bad thing, but it's not. I mean, it's just the first pumpkin is the one that we'd rather go with. And then we just keep pollinating them. Last year, I, my 1990 was a backup. So my best pumpkin ever was a backup pumpkin. So nothing to worry about at all. This one here will be very difficult to measure. As you can see, I'm close to it right now. I don't have a ton of space to be moving in here. So this one won't be nearly as much measuring going on with this guy, but it is growing very nicely now. Day 16, I believe, 17, one of the two that we're sitting at. Still smaller than what I want, but it's perfect. It's growing great. I think three to four inches in circumference a day right now. So it's just starting to get its good curve. A lot of the times my pumpkins are going slower at day 17, less circumference. So nothing to worry about at all. I like the shape, I like the location, and I like the pumpkin. There they are. We're set up with our second one over there. We got the Gettys just off and rolling right here. Good luck, everybody. See you.